I was actually pleasantly surprised. Surprise! It was not the best hand to get dealt. And that, my friends, is the power of mindset. Kind of an interesting juxtaposition, the vacation grocery haul to the post-vacation grocery haul. Hello from beautiful Taos, New Mexico. If you've been watching my last couple of videos or following me over on Instagram, you know that my family and I are in New Mexico for a few weeks of rest and relaxation and fun in the cooler temperatures. Plus, I'm throwing in a little bit of work here. And I did do a little grocery haul near our um, rental that we have in Angel Fire at their little Lowe's that they have in town. But I'm in Taos now because I need to do a big grocery haul. Like I've, I've got some groceries last week at that little Lowe's to tide us over, but it is time now to do kind of a big vacation grocery haul. And we are starting today at Smith's. I think Smith's is a Kroger affiliate. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they are. And anytime I have an opportunity to go into Kroger, I want to take advantage of that because there are none like very near where I live. They are known for having incredible markdowns. I don't know if this one is going to have that or not, but we're going to go in and see. Doesn't hurt to check out what is on sale. You had to know I would find the discount bakery rack. Definitely going to pick up these rolls for 99 cents. These will make great little sandwiches. This might be one of the best deals I've ever seen. This five pound bag of chicken drumsticks is marked down to $1.50. That is insane. Okay, I am in trouble. My cart is already overflowing and I still have some things to get even just for like dinner tonight. I don't even have like all the produce I wanted to get. I was definitely thinking I would visit multiple stores but like everything's such a great price here that I don't really need to but I'm running out of room. Look what I see. It is time. Okay, I think this should tide us over for at least a few days. <laughs> I do have extra family here with us right now. There are nine of us all together. So I am feeding more than just my family, but I have about a 30 minute drive back to our house. And what I did was make sort of a makeshift cooler because I didn't bring one with me from home. I was afraid we wouldn't have room for it in the van traveling up here. These are my ice packs from my HelloFresh box that was delivered. You will have seen that video already because we had some HelloFresh meals along with some other easy meals the first few days we were here. So I just stuck those in the bottom of this cardboard box and I'm gonna put the cold stuff in here for the drive back. I didn't buy anything that should melt like ice cream or popsicles or something so it should be good with these frozen solid ice packs on the bottom. Here is most of my Smith's slash Kroger haul and just so you know that I'm balancing out all the junk food you just saw. Here's some fruits and vegetables. Uh, these are actually just a couple of tamales that I got from the freezer section and there's some cucumbers, lemons, limes. These are peaches, have some bell peppers, some strawberries or sorry some bananas and then two pints of strawberries. These were on sale. They were like $1.29 a pint with the coupon. Such a good deal. I got three pounds of pink lady apples, some red cherries. They were a good price too. My my son will be so happy because he loves those. Some romaine hearts for salads. And I also picked up some frozen green beans. The Powerades were only 69 cents with the store coupon. And I also had a coupon for the Starbucks. It was in the app. It made it $6.99 for a package of Starbucks coffee, which is a good price for that brand. I have some refried beans, three jars of prepared pasta sauce, some Worcestershire. My husband likes to use this to season the burgers when he grills them. And some ketchup because I couldn't remember if we had any in our fridge or not. Some sandwich meat. The bacon was only $2.99 with the store coupon in the ad, so I picked up two pounds of it because that's such a good price for bacon. Some smoked sausage, some taco seasoning, and some ranch seasoning. Also got some of these Johnsonville butter cheddar smoked sausages to throw on the grill tonight with the burgers that we're gonna be having. Eight containers of yogurt in all. I know it's the cardboard casing is <laughs> seen better days, but that's because of the ice that I put on top of everything to keep it cool on my way home. Also have some sour cream, some whipped cream cheese. My kids love to use this to make sandwiches. Frozen meatballs, this Tillamook cheese, the, um, Oh, what's it called when it's like thick shredded? Farm style shreds. This is so good and it was on sale while I was there so I picked up one of those but then I saw this. This is a 32 ounce or two pound bag of sharp cheddar in the Kroger brand and it was clearanced out for $2.88. I mean that's normally what eight ounces cost. So I went ahead and picked that up to use in recipes this week. Also have some snacking cheese including a few cheeses from their like specialty cheese sections. This is the Sartori Matamore cheddar. I don't know if I said that right or not. And then another cheddar. My husband just made me stop filming. 
in the middle of showing you guys my haul, and this is why. He's been wanting to catch a glimpse of a bear. We've seen lots of um, deer wander through the property. I, for one, am content just knowing the bears are out there and not <laughs> having them anywhere near me, but at least now he has seen one from far. It was not close to our porch, it was at the neighbor's. So let's get back to <laughs> the hall now. <laughs> okay, where was I? I said snacking cheeses. I thought this was interesting, Fuego Colby Jack. So this is Colby Jack with a little bit of jalapeno in it. I thought it would be really good on the burgers tonight. Also got some more butter, some of these little snack packs maybe to take on little hikes, some half and half and some milk. This also had a great coupon attached to it, so I picked some more up. I have a few crackers. There was a coupon for those that made them $1.99 a box, so we can have crackers and cheese as a snack. I got some pasta and some salad me salad to have with the uh, burgers tonight, the grill out tonight. Dr. Pepper Zero, some zero sugar ginger ale, and then I have not tried this yet, the Coke Zero Vanilla. I've had the Coke Zero Cherry and the Coke Zero Cherry Vanilla, but I've not had the Coke Zero Vanilla, so I thought I would try that out. Ruthie requested some tea so that she can make hot tea while she's here, so this is the one that I picked up. It is the Sweet Cinnamon Spice. We were in need of like a scrub brush for the dishes and stuff because the one that was provided was not great. So <laughs> we got ourselves a brand new one. Okay, now I know this is a lot of like snacky and sugary stuff. The sale prices were unbeatable and we're on vacation. I mean, the marshmallows weren't on sale. We were just out of those. And you know I had to pick up some fudge stripes. If you follow my channel, you know why. We're doing s'mores, especially out in the fire pit here on our property, or the rental property. But I also picked up some EL fudge cookies because we had a conversation about these the other day. And I was like, oh, I haven't had those in a while. And they were part of the sale with us, the buy five, save five, or like buy more than five, get a dollar off, or it was something like that, some kind of sale like that. I also got two boxes of granola bars. My husband's favorite cereal is Fruity Pebbles. It was $1.99 a box as was my favorite cereal, the Honey Made S'mores, and I have not seen this in a long time. So I picked up two boxes of that as a treat because it was part of that promotion. I got a big box of the Doritos because they were a good price and I thought we could do walking tacos. That would be a good vacation dinner. And the chips were such a great price, probably the best price I've seen on chips in so long, and we're doing lots of sandwiches and stuff. So I picked up two bags of Doritos, the regular and the Cool Ranch, two bags of Ruffles, got some Gardettos, some Bugles. I have never seen these, so I thought we'd try them out. The Ruffles Rogue Twist Double Cheddar. Let me know down below if you tried those before. And then just some plain old Tostitos for like chips and salsa. Not pictured are some bread items, some sandwich bread, some buns for the burgers tonight, plus the little rolls that I found on the clearance rack, and also some hamburger patties and three pounds of ground beef. I wanted to go ahead and get that in the fridge as soon as I got home. I was actually pleasantly surprised at my total for everything I see here, or for everything that you see here, it was under $250, which is still a lot, but it's vacation. And I was expecting it to be like well over $300, but because a lot of these items were on super sale, even like high price items like chips and drinks and snacks and meat and cheeses and stuff we still um, I still got out of there for less than $250 and we're gonna get several nights worth of meals and several days worth of breakfast and lunches and snacks surprise <laughs> I know you were not expecting to see me back in this kitchen back in my home kitchen again for a little while because it was gonna show you some of the things that we were eating but best laid schemes of mice and men. You know this if you follow me on Instagram, if you saw this in my stories, I talked about this. If you don't follow me on Instagram, when you're done watching this, go over there and give me a follow. But I mentioned that um, two weeks into our three week plan trip, we had to come home. Basically, uh, we had some stuff come up at my husband's work that we felt like warranted us coming back home to deal with, that it would be easier you know, to address those issues at home. He'd been sick. We'd already been there for almost two weeks. We felt like, you know, it was just best for our family to come home and that's okay, that's real life. And actually one of the things that I'm particular about on this channel is trying to show real life. And sometimes uh, things don't work out as we planned and we just have to try to roll with the punches, which we were determined to do. Now it is time 
to restock my kitchen <laughs> because the fridge is looking bare, pantry is missing some staple items. So instead of just giving you one grocery haul in this video, I'm gonna give you two. I almost did like a grocery pickup order or a grocery delivery even, Walmart Plus or Instacart. But here's my problem with grocery pickup or delivery. My number one qualm with it is that I can't pick my own produce. And actually that's a huge like category of things that I'm picking up today is produce like fruits and vegetables. So if it's, you know, I've got, you know, some bananas that aren't quite ripe enough or a few strawberries that weren't good in the carton, that's one thing. But when like a large percentage of my haul is going to be produce, I want to pick it out. So um, I'm here at Aldi and hot take. I actually think my Walmart has better quality produce than my Aldi does sometimes, but I wanted to just come and shop in a smaller store. I don't know when I'm in, like it takes a lot longer. So I thought we'd come here. I got to pick up, like I said, some produce and kind of just restock some of our basics. A lot of the perishable items from that vacation grocery haul that we weren't able to use up before we left, we left behind um, because we had some friends who were actually going to come and stay with us the last week that we were there and they still went and used the cabin, which is great that it got used and they were delighted to have some things in the refrigerator when they arrived. And then some of the other things we were able to pack up and bring home, like some of the non-perishable items and snacky foods and beverages. And, you know, we were able to use those to create some easy meals uh, whenever we first arrived back home. Okay, they're out of just like regular spaghetti. One lonely box of this organic spaghetti <laughs> sitting right here. I don't even know where it's originally supposed to go, but now it's gonna go in my cart. Okay, I found it at home. It's actually supposed to go up here and I'm going to get this one instead because it's the same price. And I really like the bronze cut pasta. I don't know, it's, it's the same price as the organic. So I'm gonna get that. I just know everybody out there was dying to know like my stream of consciousness <laughs> when I'm grocery shopping. What is going through Mindy's mind? Got some first day of school signs here at Aldi. I'm not one of those moms. I mean, I wish I was. I know a lot of moms who are this kind of mom, but do the sign and the picture. And man, we're lucky if we can get a picture of our kids <laughs> running up the door on the first day. That's the kind of family we are, but these are pretty cute. My mom used to say this to me all the time. Be yourself, but be your best self, Melinda Ann. I picked up some of these reusable sandwich and snack bags last year, and uh, we really liked it. We still have a few that haven't like, you know, gotten destroyed or left behind somewhere, but I'm gonna pick up, you know, another set, like one for the sandwiches and one for the snacks. When these get, you know, dirty or something, I actually just throw them in the washing machine with towels, like in the clothes washer, not the dishwasher. Especially if you just put dry things in here, you know, if you just put crackers or, chips, you know, obviously messy sandwiches and stuff aren't going to work as well in these, but for the stuff my kids take, they work really well. So it actually worked out not too badly for my husband and myself because we sent the kids to their grandparents for a few days. Grandparents, they're the real superheroes, right? And then my husband and I got to have kind of like a quiet staycation at our house. I mean, we were working some in between little spurts of work, like we slept in, we met up with friends, went out to dinner. And I don't know, it was just really nice. <laughs> and that, my friends, is the power of mindset. That's what I'm telling myself because it really kind of wasn't, you know, in our plans to have to end our vacation early, but we tried to make the best of it. And as it turned out, I think that little staycation that we got, just my husband and myself at our house um, with the kids at their grandparents, I think that was. That was just what we needed. And I will be the first to tell you that I am not the most positive person by nature. It's in my core values for my channel, but it's something I have to work at. I would call myself more of a, a realist or maybe even a pessimist at times. So I've really been working on like trying to, to make the best of things, trying to see the good in things. This was a this was a good practice in that, you know? I really didn't mean for this to turn into a big chatty video. For those of you who miss my walk and talk videos, how about my, my shop and talk videos? Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Kind of an interesting juxtaposition, the vacation grocery haul to the post vacation grocery haul. As I mentioned, lots of produce, both fresh and frozen. Got a good looking watermelon there. You know, some apples, cherries, needed to restock the onions, some peppers and cucumbers and carrots because my kids like those raw. Some green beans and some zucchini for cooking. And then just kind of our standard mix of frozen veggies that I like to heat up from time to time. Our favorite cereal, I actually like the 
the organic variety of the granola. Not because it like tastes any different to me than the non-organic variety, but it's chunkier. I feel like the non-organic one, it's mostly just crumbs and these have like big chunks of granola. I like to put that in my yogurt, which you see some of right here, whole milk, whole milk, blah whole milk Greek yogurt plus half and half and some eggs we were completely out have some turkey smoked sausage lots of easy meal ideas with this the bronze cut spaghetti some rice lots of different varieties of cheeses I already put away the canned goods just kind of you know some like tomatoes and green beans and beans and just some things that I needed to restock in the pantry I picked up some chicken breast and the odd thing was the air chilled name brand chicken breast was actually cheaper than the Aldi brand regular chicken breast so I don't know I picked this up because it looked good and of course one of these uh, carnitas seasoned boneless pork shoulder roast I've talked about these in so many videos so easy you just toss it in the crock pot and let it cook you know on low for however many hours or high however many hours shred it up and make delicious meals so you know such an easy thing and I really need easy because we're about to go back to school speaking of back to school my kids actually start school in a few days and I needed to pick up you know just a few lunch packing things sandwich bread and tortillas and lunch meat and pretzels and stuff that they can throw together for lunch for the first couple days of school till I can do kind of a bigger lunch haul and possibly a school lunches video accompanying that I don't know I'm thinking about it some frozen hash browns for no other reason than that I've been thinking about some breakfast bowls Aldi brand and crescent rolls we like to roll these up with different meats and cheeses and make like really easy little sandwiches for easy weeknight meal I almost forgot to mention the ciabatta rolls they had the two dollar off markdown sticker which made them less than two bucks a package for a package of six I think like maybe a dollar eighty or something after the discount was taken which is a really good price for ciabatta rolls they're usually pretty expensive and we have some sandwich recipes and things that we like to use these for so I'm just gonna pop them in the freezer and they'll be fine you know since they're short dated but we'll take them out when we're ready to eat them and I got them for a really good price I also popped into Sam's Club because we were out of toilet paper that's usually the reason that I go into Sam's Club <laughs> usually my Sam's visit is precipitated by running low on toilet paper in this house but I also picked up for the first time a members mark like the Sam's Club brand chicken pot pie I was at a friend's house the other night with my husband and she made one of those for dinner the the host made one of those I'm not even a huge chicken pot pie fan and I was like this is is the most delicious chicken pot pie I've ever had. So I had to get one. My only qualm is that I have to cook it in the oven because it's too big to figure out how to cook in like my air fryer or my slow cooker, but that's gonna make an easy meal and it feeds a ton of people. Like it's a really big chicken pot pie. Has anybody else had that from Sam's Club? Am I just crazy for thinking that it is absolutely delicious? One thing I did not stock back up on was stuff for my freezer. I would really like to do kind of a freezer stock up and I'm thinking about making a, a video on it. Not so much freezer meals. I mean, I've made videos like, you know, freezer meal prep, you know, five meals in under an hour or budget freezer meal prep. It's not my favorite thing. It's just not my go-to. My go-to things for the freezer besides food storage, like meats and veggies and stuff are quick convenience meals. And I thought about doing a video like restocking some of my favorite things to have on hand for those nights when just the, the dinner plan isn't gonna work out. Especially right now with back to school, getting back into our schedules. I mean, stuff always takes longer. Getting the kids to and from their activities or that back to school meeting or that parent teacher conference or open house, it always takes longer than we think. And then my dinner plan falls through. So those are the kinds of nights when I go out to my freezer and I want something that I can toss in the microwave or toss in the air fryer or heat up really quickly on the stove so if you're interested in seeing a video like that leave me a comment below check out this video next and I'll see you there